perfect combination of knowledge and wisdom. Confidence and precision, a warrior over rhythm. Talk everything but religion. What wonder and storyteller or measure? Of how we live for the culture. Hip hop, not for brothers that flip flop. Honor, love and integrity, taking it to the tip top. Not your average disc jock, stay prepping in town. Virginia born and bred, so we taking it now. Bad news official, no gotta rock strike. To blow the whistle, heed the warning. Sound boy, bury your breathing morning. Instead of talking in nonsense, speak of something important. The power of using your voice to make the right choice. I'm only saying, when words are your weapon, how do you play it? Amazing how I come across God in the laws. God can The lyrical Messiah is sharp. Boy, wonder the storyteller, they setting it off. So make damn sure you're tuning in to EBR when it's real. Everything but religion. What up, people? The DJ Storyteller. Yeah, they call me J Martin Boy Wanda. We're back. We are back. This is season two starting up. I know we've been we've been gone for a little bit, and yeah. but that's why we're here to make this video to explain where we've been at. The <laughs> First quarter been crazy though, already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it has. Yeah, so I know a lot of people don't know, but back last year, February, my dad fell and broke his leg in two places, and he, did, he broke his ankle as well. So it was all in the same leg, and then and I had to help him recover, and it was it was a toll on me mentally because I wasn't ready to take care of my dad just yet. I mean, I don't have no problem taking care of him. Let's get that straight, but uh, it was a lot. You know, I got a family as well too, so I had to take care of him and then running back and forth to work. But it, I mean, it 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 was a blessing and learning, and I had to learn some things, which was cool too. But everything's good now. He's in a in Kansas with my, with my older sister, so do, he's doing good, Re rehab doing well, he's walking again, uh, so he's doing good, and I'm glad that he's doing a lot better. Uh, then, what else happened? Uh, I think I got sick, I, had the, I, I think I had the new uh, uh, COVID. Had the old Marion yeah, COVID. Yeah, the old Marion <laughs> thing. That's what had me, me and uh, the little one down for like two weeks, and yeah. it, was, it was terrible. Like. I had a bad, bad cough. I couldn't sleep. It was hard to sleep all night. The sweats, the shakes, the I had all that. The aches, all that. Yeah, wow. Yeah, it was bad. Uh, I mean, I've been put, trying to put out little short videos here and there to just, uh, you know, keep y'all entertained a little bit, hopefully. Um, it's just crazy. I know I have it, boy. I won't mess with no type of social media or video. Y'all could not see me. Boy. Yeah. Man, I had a back pain. So I went to the little doctor. They said, you know, come back if you're not feeling too well. If it gets any worse, let us know. Give me some muscle relaxers, and sit me on my way. This happened on, I think, a Friday night I went to the doctor. Monday morning, I get up and put my left foot down and I collapsed. I had a shooting pain from my lower back all the way down my left leg. They say it was something, some form of sciatica. But now I'm starting to realize that I had a bulge disc in my back. And that was closing up and pressing up against my nervous system on my left side. So I was down and living on the couch for two and a half to three months. Yeah, yeah. It was terrible. Yeah, I wanted no parts of the phone. Storyteller came out, checked on me, gave me some hemp oil. <laughs> <laughs> so I, got a, I got a buddy at work to live by. He had back surgery, he lived by. So mm -hmm. I, I was willing to try anything. But I was on that couch from, what, January? Nah, yeah, January until about the beginning of March. Yeah, yeah. It's been terrible. But, you know... All things happened for a reason. Gave us some time to, well, gave me some time to really jot down and work on some material and really just try to hone in and Same work here. on my craft. You know? <coughs> Same here. Look, I want Mario trying to creep back. Nah, I don't want no parts of that. <laughs> <laughs> you ever notice people get vaccinated, they just start coughing all freely now? They just don't care. Yeah, they don't, yo. <laughs> but yawning with their mouth open and stuff. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you see, a lot of people don't wear masks no more either. They're just raw dogging, like Chris Rock said. Yeah. <laughs> Raw dog in there. Yeah, speaking of that, we gotta we gotta talk about, speak about that situation. This is the only time we're gonna speak about it, but the you know I know everybody saw it. I spoke about it uh, on Monday. Uh, you know, Chris got slapped by Will. I thought it was a promo for WrestleMania next week. I thought it was a promo. I, honestly, I thought it was a promo. I didn't even know Chris Rock was going on tour, but uh, I, I see it was good for his sales. But I thought it was a promo just for the Oscars to show that you know black actors do de deserve to be there. Right. So I, I don't know. I still don't know if it's. It seems to be real. I mean, I'm not 100% still with it, but I think it was real because 
Will was laughed at it. He laughed at, it, at the initial G.I. Jane joke. He was over yeah, there. Yeah, he did. and laughed. He laughed. Yeah, he laughed hard. As soon as he looked over at his wife with that, see, you just, uh, this is why. This is why, right here. As soon as she gave him that face, <laughs> yeah. he had to do something immediately. Yeah. True. And, and Jada still looked unimpressed. Like, uh, see, if it was Tupac, he'd have shot him. You know, that's, yeah, that's yeah. how she looked at him. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, but it's. I feel like every man got a breaking point. Maybe that was it. You know, I don't know if you remember back when the uh, back when the recession that first really hit hard. Uh, back when Bush was in office, mm -hmm. it was a story about a man. He had his wife left him. He just got fired, and he was about to be. Uh, his house was getting foreclosed on. Mm. And he went through Taco Bell to get a uh, chalupa, and they discontinued the kind of the Baja, the one that he wanted. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Discontinued it, so he shot up the restaurant. Oh, damn. Had nothing to do with the chalupa being off. It was just that yes. every man had their breaking point. But and God. I think he scraped together two ninety nine for that chalupa. But you ain't got to shoot up the whole place. I'm not justifying shooting up a place yeah, for a chalupa. Yeah, yeah. I know I'm fat and everything, but no. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is everything on top. I mean, you got to look at what Will been going through. Crazy and shout out to Chevy Lane over at uh, over with S two and all that good yeah, stuff. I seen a post she put up. She put up and said uh, uh, Will and Jada um, publicly went through and reconciled infidelity. Oh yeah, they in did. the public eye. They did. They really did. And he never had a chance to. And some of y'all Negroes can't get through an argument. Y'all had a food line. <laughs> <laughs> Is that one of the funniest and real statement I've ever yeah, seen? Yeah. But I mean, hey. I'm, at the end of the day, I really just feel like Will over exaggerated. I think he overreacted. I should yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. he definitely that was overreacted. The wrong place for that. But I, but but all all that said to the side, your boy Chris Rock handled that like a G. Yeah, he boy, did. did he yeah, take yeah, that he, like a he, G? He, he, he ain't touch his it. face. He ain't at rub. All. He just said, "Oh, Will slap the shit out," of <laughs> <laughs> and they kept it moving. They kept it moving, and like, that ain't the epitome that, of yeah. professional. Yeah, that's definitely professional. Boy, when like the show took, must goes on. I feel like it still took a, that moment took away from like Samuel Jackson got an oh, award, it and I don't think really people recognize until after this situation happened, and then is this Will's first Oscar? Him. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely yeah. So the the mood was set for him even with Beyonce performing in Compton as a tribute to the film. Yeah, like, it was a it was set for yeah, this for, to be yeah. Will's big moment. True, true. And, and, and no one talks about Will's first Oscar. Well, they talk about him dancing with it at the, at the, at the getting yeah, jiggy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, he, yeah, he was partying like nothing. It, it didn't phase him at all. Yeah, it's, it's. I mean, they both apologized. No, uh, they didn't. Chris Rock did not apologize. Oh no, he, I thought he did apologize. No, that is that is false. That is fake news. So oh, that was that wasn't him. No. Oh wow. Yeah. If oh. you notice every every link of his apology is a copy and paste job. You never see anything attached oh, to his yeah, actual true. page. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, just a picture of him and somebody that copy and yeah, pasted. It wasn't nothing on his uh, Instagram either. Nope. It Chris just, Rock uh, has not tour. responded. The only thing Chris Rock is doing is preparing for this fantabulous material he has for his upcoming show. Oh yeah. That yeah. tickets are going for fifty eight dollars previously, and now scalpers are able to sell them tickets for upwards of five hundred and sixty dollars. Yeah. Huh. Hey, now tell me who yeah. came out the real winner. The guy that won the Oscar or the guy that got slapped on stage? Yeah, because he's Man. About to, he caking up off of this joint. But I wonder who's going to do the first interview about it, though. They need to change him from Chris Rock to Chris Stone because he had a stone <laughs> job. Well, he's just yeah, he didn't. Yeah. Champ, man. Yeah, oh, straight man. champ. Straight champ. And that was a real that was a real actor slap, too. Like You seen him cock back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He did slap him like that. Oh, yeah. man. Like you said, he, took a, he still took it like a champ. And yeah, 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 and kept it moving. When, yeah. when the show must goes on, that huh, yeah, he held it down. But like I said, that's well, like you said, that's probably been the one and only time I talk about it until Chris Rock get up on talk and talk about something. Yeah, that's I want to hear it. what Chris Rock. Got to I don't heard like, enough from Will and, and uh, his response. And, uh, I, I bet uh, Jaden gonna start making trap music now. Jaden, <laughs> he had a response about it too. I think he said, "There you go" or something. He was excited. He was happy for his dad to do it. That's what I'm telling. Watch Jaden come out with a trap album, no. But <laughs> not dressing like Batman. Oh man. But I mean, the comedians though, you like they talk about everybody. Right. But I feel like if it was Dave Chappelle or anybody else up there, he wouldn't. Have done, if it was Dave Chappelle, he wouldn't have done that. I, I feel like he wouldn't have done it. Nah, I don't think so at all. But like, where does where do comedians draw a line now? Because you, it's, I mean, I didn't. I didn't think they had a line to where they couldn't talk about. It. Anything. It was a, a minor, simple little 
And it won't even that, that bad. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, especially if it's true that he didn't know that she had alopecia. Because I, I, I didn't know. know. I didn't know either. No, nope. because she's always had short hair. True. So I didn't know she had alopecia. Well, I take it back. She always had short hair since, uh, since uh, in recent years. She's always had short hair. So maybe it's something that that came. Oh up yeah, true. Yeah. Recently. Yeah. And she just finally embraced it as you know as as made public now, known now. But yeah. But did you see the the post she had before? The Oscar that says she don't care if anybody talks about her ball head, little ball head or something like that. Nope, didn't see that. Yeah, so that's why I'm like, I don't know, you know. It's, it's just a crazy situation to see happen right on TV. Well, I ain't seen it until afterward. My Facebook and Instagram and everything started oh, going man. off. I was watching All American, I think. It had nothing to do with the Oscars that day. Mm -mm. <laughs> I go to work 3 o'clock in the morning, you know. Yeah. So I wake up, go to work. Old white lady at the job. Did you catch the Oscars last night? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> but they said the views still won't up that much. So. I mean, of course, people. And you got to think that too. So even if it's a ploy to get uh, views and all that stuff up, anything that they miss live, they're not going to go back and watch the rerun yeah, so that the nah, views uh -huh. will be tagged into the yeah. Nielsen system or whatever. Yeah. They got Hulu now. They got YouTube. They got Fire Stick. Twitter. All that good yeah, stuff. Everybody. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. But I think the reason why it's such a controversial topic besides the fact that he did this on national television was that it's just unexpected from Will Smith. Is that, oh, yeah, definitely unexpected from him because Will is always that guy that's giving the positive energy, the motivational speeches right. and everything. But, yeah, I, that's why I thought it was something that they, they put together. I think about five years ago, if you'd have lined up two celebrities, let's say Will Smith and Donald Trump, which one would you think would be president? Oh, uh, yeah. I hope Will Smith. He just got that squeaky clean record. You would have yeah. never thought something like that would come from, you know, Will. But at the same time, just because you've seen him on TV since he was 16, let's not forget he's from West Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> Born and raised. Man. Sure. It just, you know, it's, hey, it is what it is. You know. That's our little take on it. I'm just leaving it at that. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's all we're going to talk about it. I guarantee you, it's, it's some it's uh, some ladies out there that take off their lace front and now they expect their man to go up there like they will, <laughs> just expecting everybody gonna be Chris and they're gonna mess around and get rocked. Watch what I tell you. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. So yeah, cause like like go to Funny Bone. You know them comedians. If you sit in the front row, you gonna you gonna catch it. And that's the crazy part too. See now, I now me personally, I haven't I haven't uh, pursued or taken my uh, stand up as serious as I want to or as I should be to be at a I think I should be uh, or, or at least trying to achieve a certain level that I would like to you know I set a goal for myself to you know take yeah, care of you yeah. know open mics and getting on different uh, type of uh, shows and different productions with right people that's producing nice shows you know that's what I'm, I'm on that route of doing now yeah. and I think if I'd have had that same hustle and drive a few years back maybe I'd be a little bit more further than where I am now you know that all goes back to the saying, you never know how long you got on this earth. So sure. why are you spending so much time trying to make everybody else happy and not doing something that makes you happy? Yeah. And doing stand-up and performing in front of people or just doing what we do as far as parties and hosting events, that really makes me happy. And I feel yeah, like I if we that, put yeah. all of our energy into that, as we do as putting in all, all of our energy and trying to just have a safety net of yeah. having a 9 to 5, yeah. you know, telling where we be right now. Because right. most successful people, they just lived up their car and, and they took did. it. You, you know did. what I'm saying? You, you're right. Yeah. Now, all of them didn't have three and, 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 and two children that they had to take care of on, a, on an everyday basis. Yeah, though. yeah, but yeah, true. But at they the did same at time, point, they were broke. Exactly. Like they were broke. So, I'm saying that to say maybe, you know, especially that time I spent on that couch, boy. I've I really been just saying, you know what, I just need to just get up and just stop making excuses and get out there and just get better. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just starting to think, hey, maybe I'm not where I want to be because I'm not as funny as I could be if I was to get out there and work 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 because you're not going to get better like DJ you're not going to get no better than what you are unless you no. continue to practice yeah. and uh, hone in on your craft yep yeah, yeah I said all that to say anybody that's out there now trying to pursue comedy or anybody that's actually in the stomping grounds making waves in comedy especially a bunch of VA legends that's coming up now I'm hoping what Will just did didn't put batteries in the backs of people that just don't like what comics got to say yeah that's yeah 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 because now I'm hoping People sitting at home just think, oh, well, Will did it, so why can't I just hop on stage and just slap somebody just because I didn't like what they had to say? As mm -hmm. opposed to just, you know, just not buying the ticket or not, you know, subscribing to the YouTube page or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of subscribing to the YouTube page, 
And we get a lot of people that are watching but not subscribing. So <laughs> we need y'all to subscribe. Yeah, we need y'all to subscribe. This, you know, I love the watches too, but the subscriptions and hit that bell too that help us out a lot. Definitely. Yeah, if, if you want to donate too, you know, hit us up on the messenger on that, and we'll let you know where to send it. Cause we still looking to expand and uh, hopefully get our own spot, like our own building, to where we can run events and do our podcast out of. Cause. Like uh, my man said, uh, while he was away, I had time to think about things too, because he, he's a comedian, and we're a great tag team together when we do our events, so it made me think about DJing uh, even more, so I've started to hone in on my craft even more, started nice. doing some different mixes. Uh, shout out to uh, DJ Karee, uh, he's a, a positive role model, role model for me right now, because he actually, I took a little beginner class with him and uh, Rick G's, and he actually uh, showed me some stuff that I didn't already know. Uh, as far as DJing, that he he you know, he, he showed me some dope. some dope stuff, and he actually uh, uh, responds back to me on uh, Facebook if I hit him up too. So that's dope that he does that. Uh, so we, we yeah we about to we about to uh, hit the hit the road running fast real fast. We ain't got no choice now, man. Yeah, <laughs> there's so much money out there too. We just got we gonna got to go out there and grab it. I mean, yeah, whole bunch of whole bunch of Potential and talent, and we just looking to just get our voices heard. And maybe, maybe it's somebody out there that have never seen us or have never hired us to entertain a group. Yeah. But boy, we know how to entertain a group. It doesn't yeah. matter if it's a birthday party, a bar mitzvah, a food truck festival, or uh, an F cancer party. Yeah. That, and we just that had F one of those. Party was dope. Yeah. yeah. Was dope. Yeah, just shout out to Casey. Congratulations. She took mega, mega pictures in front of a sign that said fresh out of chemo. She is in remission and is enjoying life to the fullest. So shout out to you, mom. And yeah, yeah. thank you so much for hiring EBR to uh, share in that event with you. Yes, yeah, we had a blast. We had a oh, blast. Yeah. Still had a blast. Well, tell them about the, the hit new song that's going to be on the new DJ Storyteller rotation. The hit new song. What's yeah. The, what's hit new song? That fancy like shouted. Oh nah, <laughs> no. Oh yeah. That that was that was something. That was a um, definitely definitely new to me because I've never I've heard the song before but never I've really paid no snippets. attention. I've only yeah, heard snippets I, on the Applebee's commercial. To hear the whole song four times was and see the dance moves. Yeah, that was. There's, it, there's a choreographed dance that goes with it. Yeah, they, lit, they lit the floor <laughs> up with that man. You telling me? Yeah, when I repost this, Boy. when I repost this. Uh, this yeah, video. we I'm post a, a video and put that I'm link up. That, I'm going nah, to put the video up there. We're going to watch it. We're going to watch it on there. Because it, it's definitely something to look at. It is. It's, it was It was great. You know, She had a lot of energy. She didn't care. She was out there doing her thing. That's what's up. That I got a lot time. of positive feedback from that video. But it was a, it was a dope event. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. If y'all want to, y'all need some uh, some good water, it's Ooh. Tidewater H2O. Y'all need to hit them up on Instagram. Uh, TidewaterH2O.com, too. They got apparel. The water is great. Uh, this is my last bottle, so I gotta get some more. I don't even want to drink it because it's my last one, but I know I can get some more, so I'm gonna definitely hit them up. Uh, definitely hit them up on Instagram and get you some of that that good old water. That good old water. So yeah, but uh, showing love to the people that showing us love, man. That's yeah, what I'm definitely. And I for kicks, you see. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, <laughs> shout out to uh, Lee Sports for letting us do this podcast in their one of their buildings uh making the shirts for us uh yeah they're, they're big so you, if y'all want some customized apparel definitely hit him up he can get he does everything wraps i've seen him do wraps on food trucks uh, yeah. uh i got a book bag from him uh stickers everything yeah, yeah you everything. name it <laughs> yeah Deep. So, so yeah you're gonna see us uh out and about a lot uh we're gonna start hitting the street soon the weather hopefully get right. Uh, tired of this back and forth. It'd be 80 degrees for three days and then 40 degrees and below. For that's the how people five get days. sick. Yeah. yeah, that's definitely how people get sick. And, and you know what? That's the bad thing about COVID now. People just can't have a COVID no more. Nah, you can't have allergy symptoms or none of that. Nah. You got a tickle got in your throat when you cough too many yeah. times? You got to yeah, go, go to the crib. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go to the crib. Yeah, go get your, your rapid test. And stuff. I know I got four of them at the crib. Man. Yeah, this. That it's just the world we live in now, yo. It's just crazy. I don't want to talk about it no more, man. Nah. <laughs> but yeah, but we we decided to change our format up a little bit too. Um, we're gonna start doing thirty to forty-five minute shows, and we have interviews that are gonna go on longer, of course, because we got somebody else. Right. Um, 
like I said, you're going to see us on the street doing, like, interviews out and about, trying different foods and beers and all this. Cause it, what's that? Good Vibes? Is that the name of the spot? Good Vibes? Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, I think it's a new spot down here in Newport News. I definitely yeah. want to try that out. So we might try to hit them up, see if we can go in there and film a little bit, show y'all what... What's going on in there? There's a lot of hidden spot. gems in the Hampton Roads area. Man. It is. You don't have to go across the water all the time. You we right. Got, we got you some right. stuff over here. It you just right. you know, there's a lot of. Everybody goes to, to the the big beach out Virginia Beach, of course, but that traffic and that tunnel ain't, ain't it ain't worth it for me. <laughs> Unless I'm getting paid, I ain't going over there. Yeah. Every time you. I go over there, I come back, I got a bill in the mail. Cause it's a dang old. Going to the wrong tunnel. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's the quickest one to get to where you need to go. Oh, bro. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm tired of going over there and get that $5.95 ticket, and then if you don't pay it. $50. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Quick. <laughs> $50. Yeah. Right. But yeah, we're doing a test run tonight, too, on that live on YouTube. Hopefully, yeah. everybody's checking us out. Um, before we get out of here, I uh, got to say shout out to my, of course, my wife. She's doing her thing, too. She got back into her workout and her. Her fitness, she's in, she dropping pounds quickly. I gotta catch up to her. I got a little beer belly from from COVID, uh, so I gotta catch up with her. Shout out to the kids, Naomi, uh, Missouri, my son, turning twenty one on Friday. Sheesh, we turn it up. <laughs> <laughs> he we said he, he said he going to work. So I know that's right. I was like, yeah, go ahead, do your thing. But yeah, I'm, um, as soon as we get off, where we going? I'm going to the house. You ain't going nowhere. I got bottles at the crib. Man, I be there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he's turning Sheesh. 21, man. I 21. feel old, man. Who you? I'm about to be 42 this year. 42. Wow. Yeah, but yeah, Jalen's doing his thing. We're still working for four uses. Um, they love him there. Uh, he's just making that money. That's Proud of him making that money. He's, just, he's, old. he's a grown man now. He's, about to be t- he's 21. Yeah, ain't about to be yeah, 21. He might, yeah, he's 21. It's just crazy. You know, time. You can send uh, him to look stuff for you. Yeah, right. Man, man, I remember it. I turned 21. I couldn't wait to turn 21. I went there, all chest poked out, bought my first bottle of Hennessy legally. I was so excited. Got my bottle, set on the counter. He told me how much it was, and I paid for it. And that was it. He didn't ask for my ID or nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah. You Do you know how experience. mad I was? You didn't, <laughs> you didn't even get the 21 experience. Nah. I, mean, well, I could have been here. Well, hey, brother. You know what happened? And notice time? I said Hennessy. That's that's what I thought was just popping in the streets back when I was in high school. I just thought it was just Henny, 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 man. Well, you know what happened on my 21st? Well, The towers fell. So I didn't have no party. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I went to, I ended up going to work. I bought a bottle of Grey Goose and went to work and drank it at work. And we had planned to link up the next day. Ain't nobody want to do nah, nothing. Nah, ain't not. Yeah, I had a curfew around here because we got all these military yeah. bases around here. Yeah. But, man, it is what it is. Uh, let's see. Uh, I got any good advice for y'all. Yeah, just, uh, nah, I don't. <laughs> nah, I don't. <laughs> well, shout out to my wife, Beulah Mae Jenkins. Uh, she done switched up her career, man. She working from home now. She done picked oh, up nice. on the uh, remote the trade remote, now. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Do what you got to do, man. She's right on time with gas. The way I know it's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. ridiculous. Yeah. I can usually fill my tank up for, with 40. I put 40 in it today. It was a, a little over half. Ooh. Yeah. No sir. So I gotta pull my Shaquille O'Neal and just uh, every time I get down two half, fill it back up. Man. Yeah, yeah. That, oh, that hurt. That, that, that hurt my heart, dog. It's ridiculous. <laughs> that summer, hurt summer my heart. ain't nobody going nowhere for the summer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cause you know those summer prices gonna jump up. Yeah. Yeah. Already food prices jumped up. Um, people rent jumping up. We just found out that they are jumping up on July first. We don't even know what to what yet, but it's just happening. It's just happening. Yeah. But my pay ain't going up yet. I, I told you that, man. It, it, you in the housing market right now, you already secure or something, or you are in the selling the selling side, man, props to you, shout out, enjoy that bag you about to secure. Yeah. Because if you want the buying side, man, man, Tough, man, man. It's rough. Keep getting outbid about You like spend 10, all this time getting your credit dollars. right, get you a little down payment thinking you're doing everything right. Well, you file your paperwork and go submit something, you get outbid it by 15, 20 grand. Nah. What you supposed to say? Yeah. Nothing. Man. <laughs> you're enjoy right. your new house, man. <laughs> Yeah. And it don't even be for a family, it'd be for a company, One, right? Yeah. That they're gonna turn around and rent yeah. out. Yeah. For two out times for the rent. Yep. Yo. For twenty two hundred dollars for fifteen hundred square feet. Making that money back hand over fist. Yeah, it's, it's what it is now, yeah. These, these uh 
rental companies buying houses. I told you the other day, these, real, these realtors buying houses for rent are worse than sneaker bots. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the sneaker bots. They, I learned about sneaker bots from an eye for kicks. You know, check them out. Check them out. Good yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, they worse than sneaker bots now. They are, yo. It's ridiculous. <sighs> that made me cry a little bit on the inside, man. You, Credit score looked too. good. I went to the bank. I was like, ooh, you with that 719, Mr. Rubber. I said, come on now. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Boy Wonder, you doing things. That's what they called me at the bank, you know. <laughs> so I'm doing it up. Man, me and, me and my wife spent all of last year, well, yeah, all of last year looking until we finally just decided, you know what, let's just downsize. There's no reason. We, we was paying $1,300 for rent a couple years back and we said look we need to buy us a house and we really knuckled down and got our credit score right put some money up and this is what we decided to do last year they was like nah son yeah, <laughs> and yeah. this year is supposed to get better nah, nah son, son. <laughs> not at all yo. Yeah. yeah so I, I and i really think that was the motivation that uh that beulah took to get out of a job she hated to actually do something you know at home you yeah, know her yeah. body take some time to recoup because you know she got a bad knee yeah, true, true, true. Oh, that wagon you dragging, girl. You can't just be <laughs> eating up all that. I'm trying to tell you, man. You got, hey, this is why your mama tell you put on socks and stuff when you go outside. That arthritis ain't no joke. Huh, I say that. I found I got it in my hip. <laughs> well, every time I tell my kids that, my wife's like, let them go outside bad for it. I'm like, nah. Yeah. Well, yeah. different on that yeah, side. Yeah, you know? <laughs> true. They wear sandals in the, in the wintertime. I, I guess I guess Anna was that one kid and went to school in the shorts when the snow outside. Yeah, oh yeah, with a hoodie on. Mm. And thong flip-flops. Yeah, it was <laughs> like, oh, this perfect hoodie in short weather. I've never heard of that in my life. Hoodie in short weather. Yeah, it doesn't even make sense. <laughs> That's funny to me. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, shout out to my wife, shout out to my churn, all three of them, my bonus kid, Destiny, my oldest daughter, Gabby. And my son Trey, this dude, I, you know, I feel old. He flying to Vegas. Yo, that's crazy. I was telling, I was just telling Anna by himself. Like, you know, <laughs> Trey is flying to Vegas for spring break. Yeah, uh, Gabby went a couple times, and this his this is going around. I think her and her mom they got some plans for spring break. So uh, Trey's going out with his. Uh, he got a cousin about his age, young Caden. You know, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Doctor uh, O'Brien's son. Uh-huh. You know, if you're an avid like EBR fan, you know about Doctor O'Brien. That's right. <laughs> Wrote a great and book, Doctor. Nanoshka, ooh, I, think, I hope I said that right. Put some respect on them student loans. Boy, Nanoshka, <laughs> Nosh, yeah, Dr. They, Nosh, yeah, you yeah, know. They co-wrote she knows she know all of them. She knows yeah, all of them. They co wrote a nice book together, a great book together that y'all need to check out. Yeah, it's moving fast on Amazon, too, by the way. Uh-huh. I'll put the link up in the. Uh, oh, yeah, definitely. That was love. But yeah, they're going to Vegas for spring break, brother. I wish I could go with them. I ain't never been to Vegas. I haven't been since I've been grown. My grandfather lives out there, and I've been. Plenty of times as a kid, plenty of times as a teenager with my family, but I've never been as an adult, like to see the Vegas you see in movies and on TV. Yeah, the Hangover. Never seen. I don't want to. I don't want that part of Vegas. <laughs> if, I, if I wake up with Mike Tyson's tiger and a, and oh, a missing nah, tooth, it's gonna be a problem. Tattoo your face, all that. Nah. That is a whole lot. Yo, all right. So, um, you need to do a top. Five, I'm, about, I'm about to do it right now. Oh, you, okay. you, you don't got me started thinking about that. And I'm, I'm not even gonna do a top five. I'm doing a top three because I think okay. it might be a little hard. What's your top three perfect trilogies? Because I was just thinking about The Hangover. The Hangover 1 and 2 were amazing. Hangover 3 was butt, butt, McGruff. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, Hangover, Pitch Perfect. Cause Pitch Perfect so you too. think that's a perfect tri- trilogy? It's not perfect. That's what I'm saying. Like, name There's two. no perfect trilogy, son. Sure, I can name two of them. What two? And you know what? One of them I, I, I didn't even see. Just the just way that they made it, I can tell. Oh, on paper, I th- oh I think like Lord of the Rings? Yes. Yeah, Lord okay, of the Rings is dope. They filmed all three of them at one time. Yeah, th- that movie was dope. Lord of the Rings is dope. Uh, like I said, I just know the history of it, so, you know, that that my vote for that one could be, you know, a toss-up. Sorry. Can you count John Wick yeah, in order to make yeah, another one? Yeah. Or John- oh, I, well, how about series? I won't, I won't limit it to a trilogy, but okay. a series, a franchise. There we go. Yeah. I've, been, I've been reading them a couple months on the couch, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, so what's your, okay. Maybe, maybe we could bump up to five. I'll say it's usually a top five, but if you want to come up with three, what's your top franchises, movie right. franchises? Got to say Friday. That's a good one. Of course. Uh, mm, I, Fast and Furious was great until, I can't say perfect, because they, they, they went off the deep end after the second yeah. one. Uh, uh, you gotta go with John Wick because I love the action in that joint. Um, Rush Hour, 
Mm. That was a sleeper right there. I didn't think about that one myself. <laughs> okay, I like that one. Uh, I think that's a. Does it does it matter if it's a movie or a TV show? Yeah, yeah, sure. I, 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 well, I gotta throw there. Boondocks in there for a TV show because that that was they had what three seasons? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, I got a sleeper. I just can't remember what the uh, there's one. I can't even think of that as a joint right now. Something in the mind now. It might be Toy Story. Ah, uh, yeah, Toy Story. Fire. Too. I'm still in yours Friday. I didn't even think about that. That was, that was, uh, I'm sorry, not Friday, uh, Rush Hour. I didn't even think about that one. That was, yeah, that's the one. I'm going to say Saw. So I ne- you know what? I've never seen a Saw. I, you, oh, oh. I've never seen that one song. I don't like human torture, though, so I didn't like, I didn't want to see it. I don't like it either. And like as far as like uh you ever sit back and watch uh or you ever seen my six hundred pound life where they do like yeah. and they show the actual surgery? Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't yeah. like the actual surgery. Yeah. But if I know they just use a food coloring and corn syrup, I can watch it. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I say Toy Story, Rush Hour, Saw. Next I'ma go with uh Two More Make It Good. Two more make it good. Uh Breaking Bad. They mm. went. They got multiple seasons on television, and they had an actual Netflix movie that was dope. Okay, I forgot. I had never seen Breaking Bad either. We're supposed, Man, to, get, we're supposed to get into that one. It is. It is worth a binge watch, player. It is worth a binge watch. And last, I'm gonna have to go with a franchise that is respected and loved. I'm gonna go with Transformers. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Transformers is cool. They had a uh, they had a strong beginning. The middle was a little uh, but yeah. I'm extremely excited about the Beast Wars. Me too. Yeah, yeah. I definitely want to see. The Beast. I, grew I grew up on Beast Wars. Yeah, I was, I grew up school. on Beast Wars too. So I definitely want to see that one. Yeah, I'm oh, looking forward to it. There's some things to watch too. We gotta see Bust Down. It's on uh, Peacock. Okay. The comedy. Uh, it only got six episodes, but it's hilarious. Um, the show. What's it called? Think about Pam. Think about Pam. The Think about Pam. That's a, on Peacock too. It's a great show. It comes on Fridays. Um, I think I'm gonna check that out tonight. I keep seeing previews for it. Yeah, I think they got three you episodes. You just confirmed so far. it for me, so I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, three. I think it's three episodes so far, but it's a, it's a good show. Um, if you still, you know, like a classic show, go on Netflix and watch Good Girls. Oh, yeah. That was a dope show. I'm mad they. they uh, it was a slept show. on. I, 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 I want to say slept on because it was very successful. I, I, I would say I think it was underappreciated. Yeah, yeah, definitely underappreciated. Maybe, maybe that's the term I want to use. Yeah. That was. I, I'm not going to lie, I, I didn't tune into it until recently. And then when I started going back and watching the original episode, I was like, yo, this is a dope concept, man. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a dope show. And then uh, the new Spider-Man's out on DVD or whatever you watch it on. Broke I watched all it, types of records. I watched record, it last though. night uh, for the second time. Uh, Broke all types of records. It was a great movie. I went to the movie theater and saw it too. So I did too. And you know it. what? It reminded me why I stayed out of movie theaters for the past three years. <laughs> Well, I, when we went, it wasn't that many people in there. Oh, when I went, it was packed. Oh, for real? Yeah. It, it was packed. Mass was optional. And I'm, 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 I'm not a germaphobe. Well, I'm tripping off of that. You know, if you, you know, take care of your own self and, and, and use your discretion wisely. I'm not here to advocate or uh, hate on anybody or anything for what you do. What I am saying is, <laughs> while that movie theater was packed and masks were optional, me and my son was the only one in there that had ours on and tucked. Not because we were terrified of COVID, but because I was terrified of the lady behind me that couldn't stop coughing. Oh, nah. So Man. She should have had her mask on. We, and, we all go AMC. No, no, we went to Regal. Yeah, we did too. We want nobody in there. Then I got up, then I got up to go uh, use the restroom. Somebody dropped a deuce in the uh, urinal. In that urinal? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, that is yo, that is disgusting. Fudge loaf just sitting there, but yeah, oh, oh, man. man. Oh, I feel sorry for where I had to clean that up. My I God. feel sorry for where to clean up the. Th- hey yo, that's another thing too. Like, did anybody teach people that go to the movie theaters any type of manners, man? And you ever just see the floors of the movie theaters when you leave? Sticky, and they be trifling. Yeah, they horrible. And you walk past at least six trash cans from the entrance to the movie theater. Yeah, and there are just lines of empty cups and Goo Goo boxes and. Mm. Popcorn, Popcorn, yo, just like napkins. trifling, bro. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. People just uh, ignore. salute to the cast that's working in the entertainment industry, such as movie theaters, man, and uh, auditoriums, such as Campton Coliseum and the Scope. Because some people just ain't got no home training. 
None at all. Or they go out to see an event and act like they ain't got no home training. Yeah, I don't know yeah. what it is. Yeah. I'm sorry, I just went on a tangent. My bad, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just nah, that's ignorant. Yo. Yeah, that's ignorant as hell. And you know, and you know, you used to get whoopings for stuff like that growing up. So you know when you see a kid doing stuff, they're like, "Yo, why is you not?" I know why are you <laughs> slapping inside the head yet. Why is your eye not blackened right yeah, now? <laughs> exactly, exactly. My mama won't that bad, y'all. Hey man, we grew up in a different time. I, is this is, is yeah, yeah, yeah. You right, but yeah, yeah. That reminded me wholeheartedly why I have not been to a movie theater in the past <laughs> three years, and yeah, <laughs> yeah. But my son and I thoroughly enjoyed that movie, and I can't wait to get it on uh, at home. So yeah. yeah, but yeah, I heard Spider Man broke all types of records again when it released that. Mm-hmm. The heck yeah, that digital was DVD. Dope. It was yeah, crazy. I was excited watching it again. I already seen it. Anna hasn't seen it, so when she was watching it. She's like, "Oh, they got the original Doc Ock in there." I said, "That's why it's so dope." Yeah, I said, "What did you see everybody else?" That's, yeah, that's dope. She said, "Isn't Jamie Foxx in it?" I said, as soon as she said that, he popped up. I said, "Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> it's Jamie." She's a little Mysterio over there. Uh-huh. <laughs> So I'm looking forward to uh, the new Into the Spider Verse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's actually one movie, but they made it so long they cut it into two parts. Yeah, that's dope. I'm excited that's for dope. that. And every different Spider Verse they go into is a different animation style. Oh yeah, yeah, that's gonna be dope. Man, I'm excited yeah, for that. That's gonna be dope. But you're talking about new shows, man, on Peacock or just on uh, Hulu or just NBC. Period. You know, we're not sponsored. But if y'all want to show some love to EBI, you know where to find us. You know, Grand Crew. Oh, yeah, that's my joint. Yeah, Grand Crew is my joint. That is a dope show. That's a dope show. <laughs> that is a dope show. Yeah, Grand Crew. That's, yeah, that's another one. It's like, it's like the Black Black Friends, you know, because the yeah. Black Friends was uh, living single, so it's yeah. the Black Black Friends. Yeah, show. yeah, yeah. It's dope, though. I, I, dope. I definitely enjoy it. I did not expect to enjoy it. It was one of them things. It was one of those nights I was watching TV, and, you know, uh, I think Hulu is the only one that don't care about you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ever watch YouTube? They're like, hey, are you still there? Are you still watching? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then Netflix, Netflix is like, hey, you know. Yeah. Are you still there? Hulu, you, that, that's going to just run. Just run. <laughs> <laughs> it don't care about you or your well-being. It'll just run. Just let that joint slide. Yeah, but yeah. Grand Crew had came on unexpectedly, and I got sucked in, yo. That's a, oh, that, yeah, that's we, a good show, yo. I think show, we the same thing. We was like, no, let's not watch the last episode yet. Watch it tomorrow. But, yeah, yeah my show just came back, Young Rock. Yeah, so, Young Rock, though. Keenan was dope too. Season oh yeah, Keenan. Keenan, Keenan is dope. Yeah. NBC killing it right now. Now I think about it, that's all all they programming. Yeah, show is. They got some slept on shows right now. Yeah, so y'all want to send some love to the EBI way because yeah, we definitely course, support y'all. Bel Air, Bel Air. Yeah, so that just got a whole new uh, slew of either uh, supporters or unsubscribers. No, I think it's just too many people Guaranteed. trying to compare it to the original one. Which, I think so too. It's not. That's the thing a about a re- a reimagining. Yeah, yeah. And it takes core parts, core characters, but. Nothing like what you're used to, which is okay, yeah. you know? It's a new era. Especially yeah. if it got signed off by Will Smith, himself, the Fresh Prince himself. I was like, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, they was like, oh, they destroyed the black family. I'm like, yo, I mean. But was- I will say this. Even though all characters are different and it may be uh, uh, something that we're not used to or accustomed to seeing portrayed on television, I believe yeah. that everybody that is somebody in this day and age is represented. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. and that's. That's, I think that's why it make, I think it's so dope is because they do that. Yeah. Do it that way. Uh-huh. Underprivileged men surrounded by people that's a little bit financially off better. That's well represented with Lisa. Uh, your sexual yeah. uh, encounters or in, inconsistencies, you know, that's represented through young Ashley. Ashley but at the same yeah. time, you know, who who knows? Maybe that's something they wanted to explore, but they couldn't because of that day and age. So yeah. I think we should be happy that we can, that we're able to represent everybody. You don't necessarily have to agree with you know, and it still is another black show on TV because they got they just got rid of what two or oh no just one black uh, blackish. Ah, yeah. So blackish is finished. Did not think that was gonna come. Me either. That's a great show. I think it's very educational too for. Everybody oh yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah, everybody. Uh, yeah, but I'm. Yeah. See, we've been trying to say goodbye for so long. That's because we, know, we missed we, y'all so much, man. We went on so many tangents and just you know, <laughs> hey, this is this is what we do when we get together, you know. Yeah. But, again, thank you so much to everybody that's watching right now. Everybody's going to come back and take a look at it. EBR on YouTube, everything but religion. You know, like, subscribe. It costs you nothing to support, nothing at all. We're not asking for any money unless you just feel it in your heart. And we don't want to stop your blessing. At so, all. please, reach out to us. <laughs> we'll tell you, definitely we'll go towards the show because I've been upgrading our oh, yeah. camera. Um, I got actually old. I got a MacBook on the way, son. Oh, yeah. So we about to start doing this. We still team thing. Android, though. Don't, don't get it twisted. Yeah, yeah. That's just, <laughs> that's just for editing purposes. So I definitely got an S22. And I'm not switching no 
no uh, iPhone, nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. MacBooks just happen to be better at editing. Yeah, you know, a fact is a fact. We can't take away from the good Apple products. Yeah, but that's yeah. just where it stops. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly where it stops. <laughs> well, anywho, uh, ebr.radio.va yep. on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. We even everywhere. on TikTok too, we're man. Everywhere. Everything about religion, man. We here. Yeah, we're here. Don't. I, I'm sorry, who's gone so long? I hope we didn't Spotify, lose. Spotify, iHeartRadio, so tune in. But we here. So wherever, if you can't yeah. watch us, if you can't watch us, feel feel free to listen to us. Definitely. Spotify, what you say? Spotify, iHeartRadio. Come on now. Tune in. Anchor.com. Uh, what? Oh, we we everywhere. Yeah. yeah. He's not just rambling. Those are places you can look and find <laughs> us. Yeah. <laughs> you actually can just Google it. It actually pop, a couple of our episodes pop on uh, what's it? Uh, Odyssey. We are Googleable. Did you hear that, people? <laughs> we are Googleable. <laughs> Whew, we're and making we, it out here. And we ain't going up from here because I, I, I thought about this uh, before I came here. I think I feel like giving out some more money, uh, another hundred dollars. Once we get to a hundred episodes of our of our show, because we got seventy something videos up there now. But once we get to a hundred video, a hundred episodes. episodes of ours, we might give out a hundred dollars to somebody. But y'all gotta stay tuned. Keep so you watching, gotta be man. subscribed. You definitely gotta be subscribed. I don't want you to just keep watching. Oh, I do want you to keep watching, but subscribe and hit that bell. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it. that's why he don't talk much. See, that's why. I yeah, I'm it. a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna start highlighting um, the the artists again from here. Uh, I'm gonna have a song of the week too. Uh, it's gonna be either industry or uh, locally. Um, you should try to. VA has a lot of talent. We need to mm-hmm. bring it together. Stop hating each other, fighting each other. It's one VA song that's making some movement right now that's not getting too much love. You know? Mm-mm. That good old Pusha T fish filet sandwich. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh that army joint? If I ain't want to go to Arby's and get a fish sandwich. <laughs> yo, Pusha's the king of that joint, yo. He, had, he talk about McDonald's. He getting paid for McDonald's, too. Come on, son. Yeah, that's what you do, yo. He's so nice, he got to battle himself, literally. Yeah, that's the album I can't wait to hear, too. Oh, that yeah. guy, Coke Track. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just disrespectful, man. Yeah, he's murdered. He got an episode on Hot Ones, too. Oh, I saw that, Joe. Yeah, it was hilarious. <laughs> it was hilarious. Yo, he was laughing like a madman. My man on a lavender work suit and was killing it. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Boy, he made Carhartt look so cold. He always son. had that different oh, style. Man. That was dope, though. Yeah, yeah, definitely, for sure. That's VA right there. Yeah, he got a shoe store in Philly, too. Did not know that. Yeah, he was on a million dollars worth of game. Another uh, podcast we salute because I, I, I love Wallow and Gilly. They good people. Gotta check it out, man. But definitely shout out to Push. I'm definitely looking forward to that album, man. Yeah. Ugh, man. Ugh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't push. want a piece of square fish another day in my life after listening That's to that. That's right. Guy, nah, I don't want no square fish. Well, you know, they always say they're probably just drug dealers at, at Arby's anyway, so, because uh, who's keeping them open? Man? Yeah. Now yeah. Push a T drops an album for them. It's like, huh? Yeah, man, yo. <laughs> I swear, if you go there at 8 o'clock, if it's nighttime, their lights are out in the parking lot. They don't want nobody there. Nah. But, yeah, but Arby's, they got some good food still. I just what? I always keep Give me some curly them. fries and uh, one of the mocha shakes. I'm good. I always forget about them. I do, too. I'm not going to lie. I think about rallies before I think about Arby's. This is facts. <laughs> this is facts. All right, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We don't got fat and start thinking about know, snacks man, and stuff. I got to eat now. This is what we do. This is what we do. Anyway, we out of here. Thank you so much for sticking with us. Thank you so much for being introduced to us. Now, thank you so much for just telling somebody about us. We really appreciate it. We back, we back, we back. We back. I'm trying to tell you, we back. It's been some situations that you know came up. We told you about them, and um, yeah, life, man. We here, you know, and yeah. we gonna, we really, this is really what we like to do. So we trying to get better at it. Yeah, yeah. And if you think we getting better at it, tell somebody about us, please. We really appreciate it. Yeah. We really do. Shout but, out to uh, oh, shout out to Will, not not Will Smith the actor, but Will Smith my boy. Uh, he he gave me some. Oh, he popping right now. Yeah, yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> he gave me the inspiration on, you know, doing podcasts. Shout out to my boy, Chris Diverse, too, for, uh, he sent me, like, a paragraph, uh, a very inspirational message of a dope, uh, Keyshawn, uh, salute to him, he sent me some stuff, too. Definitely. So, uh, yeah, we like to support, we like to hear from y'all, so we want to comment, shoot us messages, do it, uh, we on all social media platforms, uh, I gotta finish the Snapchat joint, I ain't start that one up yet. Yeah, that's all you own. I'm about that. Yeah, but we'll be on Snapchat too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You heard me? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is EBI. I'm J Martin Boy Wonder. DJ Storyteller. And please don't forget, some people are so poor, all they have is money. Don't die broke, boy, people. We out. Peace.